Special greetings to you in the name of the Lord. Shall we pray? Our Father, we worship and bless your holy name for a time like this, a day like this, a moment like this. Thank you for the great and wonderful things you've been doing in our lives. Thank you for this opportunity we have to listen to your word. Lord, I pray you enable us to accept your word. Help us to assimilate your word. And help us, Lord, to make use of this word to bring a change in our hearts, complete change in our our attitude in the name of Jesus. Give us the grace, Lord, to be doers of this word. Thank you because I believe you have answered. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Amen. We are considering the topic, will you listen? Will you listen? A text is taken from Jeremiah chapter 6, verse 9 to 17. Thus saith the Lord of hosts, they shall truly glean the remnant of Israel as a vine. Turn back thine hand as a grape gatherer into the baskets. To whom shall I speak and give warning, that they may hear, behold, their ear is uncircumcised, and they cannot hearken. Behold, the word of the Lord is unto them a reproach. They have no delight in it. Therefore, I am full of the fury of the Lord. I am weary with holding in. I will pour it out upon the children abroad and upon the assembly of young men together. For even the husband with the wife shall be taken, the aged with him that is full of days, and their houses shall be turned unto others with their field and wives together. For I will stretch out my hand upon the inhabitants of the land, saith the Lord. I'll stop here because of time. A key verse is in verse 10. To whom shall I speak and give warning that they may hear? Behold, their ear is uncircumcised, and they cannot hearken. Behold, the word of the Lord is unto them a reproach. They have no delight in it. Every advertisement on cigarettes always ends with a warning. Note, smokers are liable to die young. Despite this, millions of people still ignore the caution and move on with their smoking habits. Since they choose to damn the warnings, the consequence of their actions eventually damn them. The prophet Jeremiah was disturbed by the deliberate decisions of the people of Judah not to pay attention to the warnings from God. He had been sending them warnings regarding the impending judgments to come upon them because of their sinful acts and atrocities. Since they chose not to listen to the warnings from God, but preferred the flatteries and lies of their false prophets and deceivers, there was no way they would escape God's judgments. It is equally disturbing that we have so many people in the church with this stubborn and very adamant spirit like the people in Jeremiah's day. In spite of the clear and straightforward teachings of the word of God condemning all forms of ungodly lifestyles, we still find them holding on to these lifestyles. They seemed to have deliberately tuned their minds off the words of God. They ignored the old path of righteousness and holiness set up by God and prefer all forms of perversions, ungodliness, and worldly lifestyle. They care less about the judgment of God or consider it as false. Unfortunately, there are so many preachers and ministers who, by their messages and lifestyles, promote these evil practices. We must note that people's refusal to believe and accept the word of God does not change its authenticity. It will not also avert or stop the judgment from coming. If you stubbornly refuse to accept the word of God and pattern your life after his standard, you will be sure to face his judgments. 
to escape it, listen and take heed to the thought for the day. Don't reject warnings meant for your good. Amen. Have you ever heard that someone was knocked down by a train? Of course, a few times. You then wondered, with the horn so loud and forceful, why would someone be so deaf to the sound of the horn? Many have missed opportunities in life because they shut their ears to open doors. Some are currently plagued with affliction and regrettable outcomes because they shut their ear to several warnings in the past. The Bible is replete with instances when people consciously, voluntarily and blatantly refuse to hear the words of God and the consequences of their actions were grievous. Proverbs chapter 1. I want to read them from verse 24 to verse 28 because I have called and ye refuse. I have stretched out my hand and no man regarded, but ye have set at naught all my counsel and would none of my reproof. I also will laugh at your calamity. I will mock when your fear cometh, when your fear cometh as desolation and your destruction cometh as a wild wind, when distress and anguish cometh upon you, then shall they call upon me. But I will not answer. They shall seek me early, but they shall not find me. Because they shut their ears to the words of the Lord, there was persistent calamity in their life. There was anguish in their life. There was desolation in their life. And their prayers were not answered. In the book of Acts, Acts chapter 28, I want to read there from verse number 27. The Bible says, For the heart of these people is wax gross, and their ears are dull of hearing, and their eyes have they closed, lest they should see with their eyes, and hear with their ears, and understand with their hearts, and should be converted, and I should heal them. Because of their persistent refusal to hear the words of the Lord, they were not converted. Eventually, there was ultimate destruction in hellfire, and all kinds of diseases came. Their sicknesses were not healed because of their refusal to hear the words of the Lord. Jeremiah chapter 44, Jeremiah chapter 44, I want to read there from verse 16. As for the word that thou hast spoken unto us in the name of the Lord, we will not akin unto thee. We will not akin unto thee. Look at the people. They blatantly refused to hear the words of the Lord. They knew these words are from God. They knew this is the undiluted truth. Look at chapter 29, verse 19. Because they have not hearkened to my words, say yet the Lord, which I sent unto them by my servant the prophet, rising up early and sending them, but ye would not hear, say yet the Lord. Then the judgment followed. They were sold into captivity. They were afflicted because they refused to hear the words of the Lord. I want to read the book of Joshua chapter 1. Joshua chapter 1. I read there from verse number 18. Joshua chapter 1. I will read from verse 18. Whosoever he be that doth rebel against my commandment, and will not hearken unto the words, in all that thou commandest him, he shall be put to death. Only be strong and of a good courage. Ultimately, those that refuse to hear the words of the Lord, those that refuse to hearken to the words of the Lord, they shall be put to death. For the soul that sinneth, it shall die today. We have people who have shut their ear to the truth of the gospel of salvation, of the gospel of restitution. They come to church and yet shut their ears to the truth of one man, one wife, until death do you part. 
the minister, they may minister in songs or in words, and yet shut their ears to the warning of the impending judgment upon sinners. They still commit secret sin. They still commit common sin. They still commit corporate sin. They still commit professional sin. I can't avoid it. It's my place of work. It's my boss. They still commit family sin. Family sin. The husband and the wife, they cooperate together to commit sin. Acts chapter 5 verse 9. Then Peter said unto her, I will see that ye have agreed together, husband and wife, to tempt the Spirit of the Lord beyond the feet of them, which have buried thy husband are at the door, and shall carry thee out. Then she fell down straight away at his feet, and yielded up the ghosts. And the young men came in, and found her dead, and carrying her forth, buried her by her husband. Husband and wife, they agreed to commit sin. Joshua chapter 7, verse 21. Joshua chapter 7, I want to read from verse 21. When I saw among the spoils a godly Babylonish garment and 200 shekels of silver and a wage of gold of 50 shekels weight, then I coveted them and took them. And behold, they are hid in the earth in the midst of my tent and the silver under it the wife saw it she kept quiet the children saw it they all supported daddy in disobeying and provoking the lord how do i know verse 24 and Joshua and all Israel with him took Achan, the son of Zerah, and the silver, and the garment, and the wage of gold, and his sons, and his daughters, and his oxen, and his asses, and his sheep, and his tent, and all that he had. And they brought them unto the valley of Achor, the valley of judgment, and they were stoned to death. They were stoned to death. Hebrews chapter 3. Hearing all this, what should be your decision? Hebrews chapter 3, verse number 7. We are for as the Holy Ghost said today, if ye will hear his voice, verse 8, adding not your hearts. As in the provocations, in the day of temptation, in the wilderness, when your fathers tempted me, proved me, and saw my works forty years, wherefore I was grieved with that generation, and said, They do always err in their hearts, and they have not known my ways. So I swear in my wrath that they shall not enter into my rest. Take it, brethren, lest there be in any of you an evil heart of unbelief in departing from the living God. But exhort one another daily why it is caught today, lest any of you be adding through the deceitfulness of sin. Verse 15, while it is said today, if ye will hear his voice, add not your hearts. How long will you refuse the gospel of salvation? How long will you refuse the gospel of restitution? When his message comes to you, the songwriters say there is but one thing to do. Just obey, just obey. Run away from prophets, bishops, pastors who by their messages and lifestyles promote evil practices and make your heart adding to the, re to the revelation of God's word. Judgment of God is coming upon the earth. You're being adamant you're being recalcitrant you're being stubborn nonchalant indifferent to the words of god resisting minimizing the words of god will not stop the judgment of god if you stubbornly refuse to accept the word of god and pattern your life after a standard you will be sure to face his judgments but today the lord is calling you he's calling you to come Leave the way of sin. Leave the way of evil. Leave all those secret life, secret life of sin, and come to the Lord before it is too late. Isaiah chapter 1, verse 18. Come now. Don't delay your salvation. Come now and let us reason together, say yet the Lord. Though your sins be as scarlet, they shall be as white as snow. Though they be red like crimson, they shall be as wool. If ye be willing and obedient, ye shall eat 
the good of the land verse 20 but if ye refuse if you shut your ears you say let me forget about it what is this man saying if ye refuse and rebel ye shall be devoured with the sword for the mouth of the lord hath spoken it behold now is the accepted time behold now is the day of salvation let's go before the lord in prayers commit yourself to the lord are you a preacher and still a sinner repent do you sing in the church on sunday you sing in the church on monday you sing in the church other days special programs they so respect you they give you the platform the pulpit and yet you know your life the secret life of masturbation is still there the secret life of pornography is still there the secret life of lust is still there come to the savior today tomorrow may be too late open your mouth and say lord i come to you i surrender myself to you i confess my sins to you my brother my sister if you are there you have not repented it is so dangerous it is too risky not to be safe in a time like this go before the lord in prayers lord let your mercy prevail have mercy confess that sense to the lord asking for pardon asking for cleansing asking for purification don't shut your ears to the words of the lord tomorrow may be too late today may be the only time you have to surrender to the lord don't go to hell my brother don't go to hell my sister surrender to him and the lord will abundantly pardon your iniquity and cleanse you completely from your sin father lord i thank you for as many that are coming to you today those who are saying i surrender to you lord you see them there have mercy upon them wash cleanse purify them and give them another opportunity lord to retrace their steps and come to you in the name of jesus father i pray your grace will be sufficient for your people. I thank you because I believe you have answered. Lord, continue to abound in their life. To you be glorified, for in Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Amen. If you have received the Lord this morning, I congratulate you. You find a way of reaching out to a Bible-believing church where you are so that you continue to hear the sound words of the Lord that will keep you standing till the end. The Lord bless you.